Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on his secret feelings about you. What is hidden? I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. So please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. Meditate here on the three piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. And this would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful pile one, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on his secret feelings about you. What is hidden? What emotional vulnerability? Um, he is just not trying to show you. I will share with you everything the Spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. So I can clearly see here your energy. It naturally attracts you to the card representing the Knight of Swords. And what I'm picking up from your person's energy as it is seen here within the Knight of Swords is this is about his intellect, his mind, what he is deeply thinking about all the time. I can definitely see that he is um, very strategic with his planning. And as it regards to, you know, you and the relationship connection, I do want to point out that um, he is thinking about and feeling like there needs to be something different that does take place in the relationship between you and him, like a lifestyle change. There's something that he feels that he needs to do different in order to influence you. I also do want to point out that this Knight of Swords energy, this is air sign energy. So you're looking at Gemini, Libra and Aquarius in the sun, moon, or rising, the seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus in the top placements of his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in this reading. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. His secret feelings about you. What is hidden? Specific feeling, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what's happening with him. Uranus. So with the planet Uranus, it represents a revolution and it represents change too. So I do love the fact that the planet Uranus did show up immediately after the message that Spirit just gave us where he is strategically um, thinking about um, a lifestyle change in order to influence you in some sort of way. So this is also about, you know, he is finally coming to an awakening about how he really feels about you as well as, you know, something I'm getting like he's going to surprise you. He's really going to surprise you with his perspective and how he is. He says that he is changing and doing things a lot different. So I do love this confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. Also here. Let me point out this, that the planet um, Uranus, it does rule over that um, zodiac sign of Aquarius. So with, you know, the king of swords being your first card that you're naturally drawn to, um, representing the swords, air energy of Aquarius that we did mention here. And with the planet Uranus um, representing like a change, a revolution, um, a breakthrough, some sort of conclusion he has come to about you. Um, I find this a very strong confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. Also, let me do point out that um, this is about change. He really wants to make a change when it comes to the relationship. 
hold on for one second. Let me adjust my chair. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he wants to change something. He wants to do something totally different, reform the connection between you and him. I do feel like he wants to experiment as well. Um, he wants to experiment with you. I feel like you did discuss something along those lines of experimentation um, regarding your relationship. And also, this energy I'm picking up has something to do with technology. So maybe he's also going to do something different in his career um, that has to do with technology, and computers, something like that. But he's definitely brainstorming and he's trying to come at you um, with an original approach so that he does, you know, influence you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. So how, what is his secret feelings about you? What's hidden spirit? What is hidden? And you do have here the seven of swords. Oh my goodness. Look at all of the air sign energy showing up. The seven of swords. Wow. Okay. This is triple um, the energy of air. And so this is really incredible. You have the seven of swords, the king of swords, and then the planet Uranus, which rules over that um, air zodiac sign of Aquarius. But specifically here with the king, the seven of swords energy, let me just point this out. I am definitely picking up that um, there was some sort of like betrayal that went on um, be, it, between you two um, in a relationship connection. And he does I think about that a lot. He think he does have on his mind um, about this dishonest behavior that did take place. He sees you as um, maybe moving away from him or, you know, running away from him, going in the opposite direction of his affection, which makes perfect sense on why he's trying to do things really different now. And he's strategically planning on ways to approach you. And I feel like he's going to try to impress you with a, with a career move, something he's doing different when it comes to like computers or even cell phones or something like that. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. His secret feelings about you. What is hidden? What is he hiding? Thank you, spirit. What is he hiding? What's going on with this guy? And you have here, there are many right ways for us to behave. So let's see what the message is from the spirit guides. It says, it is possible to live upon this planet with a large number of other beings who believe and behave in a variety of ways in peace. When you are able to focus in such a way as to allow your alignment with source, even though others are choosing to behave differently than you are choosing, then you will truly be free from the bondage of attempting the impossible task of getting everyone to agree on one right way. One one right way would lead to endlessness. Many right ways allow for eternal expansion. So this is about movement as well and growth. So it's also, I do want to point out that the planet Uranus does represent freedom as well. So I feel like this is the type, this guy is... He has a tendency to hold on really tight when he's in a relationship and and he wants to control the relationship, control the narrative, even the dialogue sometimes. And he's trying to, you know, he's coming to the realization that allowing others to be free and especially you and your connection with him, allowing your, you to be free to decide whatever it is that you want to do with your life is the best way to do this. And so that's what he's thinking about as well. And that's something he's been hiding, you know, because he doesn't want to appear to have been wrong. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like if he tells you, hey, you know, I believe the way you believe. Like, I believe in free spiritness. I believe that people should do whatever they want to do and engage with the type of relationships they should engage in. He doesn't really want to tell you that because 
he doesn't want to look like he's going back on his word, but that that's a hidden um, thought and emotion that he's carrying right now. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. His feelings about you. What is he hiding? Thank you, Spirit. What's going on with this guy? What is going on? Look at this. The world card. <laughs> so with the world card, mm -hmm. I love the world card showing up because it's in great correlation with um, the planet Uranus that showed up right here in the revolution and him doing something different. Um, so the world card represents uh, he is trying to complete goals and he's having a hard time completing his goals because he'll start something, then he'll stop. He'll start and then he'll stop. But um, you know, secretly, he really wants to complete certain goals in order to, you know, impress you. I do also see here that with the world card, this is about him learning a lesson. So he has learned a very important lesson when it comes to um, relationships and relationship connections. I feel like he's watching you know, videos like YouTube videos on relationships and really trying to get the verbiage as well as how to, you know, be in a loving, uh, deep, loyal partnership because he's used to a toxic situationship. If you know what I mean, he's used to a relationship that's very toxic, controlling, demanding. And I feel like he's trying to learn about how a healthy relationship functions. So you'll probably communicate with him and he'll say something like, hey, I'm really seeing that couples should give each other space. And I'm really understanding that there are no significant roles and uh, uh, except for a man is meant to lead, protect, and... Um, you know, and encourage his mate, things like that, things that have to do with relationships. He is embracing himself in and really trying to study, but this guy's really stubborn as well. And, um, but I can say he is going in that direction. Thank you, spirit. I feel like also here with the world card, he wants to travel towards you. He wants to be closer to you physically and yeah, he wants to get close to you. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. So what's happening, spirit, with this guy? What secret feelings is he hiding about you? What's happening? Okay, so let's see what this card does say. And you have here, you have a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So I I can see that because of the work that he's putting in, you know, and, but I feel like you are kind of, mm, you're not sure if he's sincere about it, but this is something secretly that he feels about you. He has a great, you know, um, he has deep love for you. He really what like a deep, deeper connection with you emotionally, an intimate connection as well. And I love how this message did show up, especially with all of the intellect and swords energy that's here in your reading. This is a, the swords energy, again, represents the intellect, the mind and how he thinks. And then the message says, a message for you. I'm thinking of you. Key word is thinking. And that is definitely the forefront here of your reading. You're on this guy's mind like 24 seven when he goes to sleep and in his dreams, he's consistently thinking about you and he's thinking about changing his lifestyle so that he could you know, impress you or even just level up himself to be a greater version of himself. But let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening, Spirit? What is he secrets, secretly hiding? What's going on with this guy? And you have here, look at this, the Five of Wands energy. So the Five of Wands energy, this is fire sign energy, okay? Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. In those top placements of the birth chart that I did mention earlier, um, 
the wand energy as it pertains to this guy and what he's hiding from you. Let me just point out this, that this five of wands energy is definitely about a rivalry. So he's thinking about how it's kind of, you create a challenge for him to, to just get close to you or to you know, be in your present, there's like a challenge, like you have a wall up and he doesn't, he, he's thinking about a rivalry, you know, a fight that, that, um, could potentially take place between you two. So, which is why he's really trying to, I, I feel like he's worried about the obstacle. He's worried about this obstacle that is between you and him. And he's concerned about what is it? that is not allowing you guys to connect the way he would like to. There's an obstacle in the way. And he's concerned whether or not, is that a person or is that like just you? Meaning that do you have someone else on your mind that you're interested in connecting with in a romantic, intimate way other than him? So he's really concerned about that. And he sees getting close to you or connecting with you as a challenge as seen here with the five of wands energy. So group one, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group two, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on his secret feelings about you. What is he hiding? I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy, you're naturally drawn here to the card. That represents the five of cups. And with the five of cups here as your first point of attraction, what I'm picking up from your person is... He's in his feelings and he is more emotional than he lets on to be. He is way more sensitive than he shows you, okay? And there's something very mysterious about him. You feel like he is keeping secrets and, and he, he actually does because he doesn't truly wear his heart on his sleeves. It seems like he does because he does tend to talk a lot sometimes, but he really doesn't. And specifically here also with this five of cups energy, let me do point out that he's feeling regret right now about the loss of connection between you and him in the relationship. He's very regretful. He's feeling abandoned. And, you know, I feel like this guy really, he's extreme when it comes to his emotions. So things could be going on with you that um, he will just be extreme with it. So I feel like he does feel, feel, feel sorry for himself a lot and he, he, he feels unloved. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening with his feelings? Um, what's going on with him, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. His secret feelings. What is he hiding? And you have here Aquarius. So with Aquarius showing up, this is an air sign energy. So you got this Aquarius, the innovator here, experimental, um, the very um, unique person here, to say the least. He's very unique. I can definitely see that. And he's feeling a bit doubtful about the future of the relationship, how it's going to go. He would love a utopia style relationship where everything is just perfect. But 
things have been quite edgy in a relationship and he's really concerned with your energy and how you have been detached from him lately, not answering texts, calls, you know, not really being bothered with him. And so he's very concerned about that. Let me do point out the cup energy here that, uh, with the five of cups. So cups, um, that represents water and emotions. And so with those water signs that the cups card do represent is you got Pisces, you have here Cancer and also Scorpio. In his sun, moon, or rising, his seventh house of relationships or the planet Venus, or in your birth chart as a confirmation here in this reading. And that also goes for Aquarius as well. He wants to do something really different this time with the relationship. But there's been a disruption. Like things were going on really good, but something disrupted the relationship. And he thinks about that disruption. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. So what's happening with him? His secret feelings. What is hidden? This card seemed like it did just want to jump out the deck. So I did allow it to. And so you have here, you have the six of coins. So with the six of coins energy, that coin energy is earth sign energy. It's physical. So he's thinking about you physically. Something to do with... Um, you physically. It's a, that six of coins, energy, earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, and they're in those placements that I did just mention earlier. But specifically here with the six of coins energy, uh, he is thinking about like receiving help from you, you know, in, in some sort of way, maybe a monetary way, financial way. But again, I did say that he is the type that does go to extremes with being in his feelings and he does feel sorry for himself, you know, sometimes. So he is wanting help from you here because he sees you as a very generous person person, and, and I feel like he feels like he would like to give to you whatever you have given to him. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening with this person, Spirit? What is happening with this person? Thank you, Spirit. And you have here, I can stop attracting don't wants by attention and do wants. I can stop attracting don't wants by attract, but don't, no. But let me read this, wow. I can stop attracting don't wants by attention and do wants. Wow. Either way, whether you do or you don't and you give your attention and focus to it, that's what you'll attract. So let's see the message from your spirit guides here. It says, you cannot rid the world of things that bother you. You have got to rid your vibration of things that bother you. And when you rid your vibration of things that bother you, no things that bother you can come. But you cannot really rid anything from your vibration because there is no exclusion in this attraction-based universe. The only way to stop attracting something that you don't want is by giving your attention to something that you do want. But you have to take small steps in it. So this is a clear message here from your spirit guide. Because I feel like there has definitely been some sort of vibrational discord between you and this person here and this relationship. And you've really, it's been heavy on your mind. You know, you're human and you think about the interactions that you have had between this person that may have been uncomfortable. And so that's a clear message from your spirit guides. Like if you want this relationship to be a certain way, you have to focus your attention on what you do want. And whatever you don't want, don't give it your attention. So let's get more insight. And that not only applies to relationships, that applies to anything that you could possibly desire. Whether it be your career, whether it be a new relationship connection, a soulmate, twin flame, or even your finances. That message from the Spirit Guides applies to everything. So let's get more insight. So what does he have hidden? Look at this, the Queen of Pentacles. 
So with the Queen of Pentacles energy, I love the Queen of Pentacles showing up, especially with the Six of Pentacles here, also known as the Six of Coins. Coins and Pentacles are the same element, earth and physical here. I do want to point out that secretly, he feels that you are definitely a very resourceful. He feels like you are more resourceful than he is. He actually feels as if um, not you are better than him, but like your standards are really high and he has to do a lot to meet your expectations. And you're encouraged not to lower your standards because anytime you lower your standards or dim your light to shine the light on someone else, it never works. And it the person actually, they, they end up resenting you because you must keep your standards high in order to receive the respect and appreciation that you truly desire. So let's get more insight. Also here with the Queen of Pentacles energy, he sees you as being able to take care of the home. So something to do with the home and the home, home front. You take care of the people that are around you, your home, okay? You are this queen. This is how he secretly views you. Very resourceful, able to get things done. And something to do with fertility as well. Having a baby, or he's asked you to have his children, or maybe you have a child or children by him, but he secretly thinks about this a lot. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more insight. What's his secret feelings about you? What is he hiding? Okay, so those cards jumped out, and we're going to do another shuffle to see what we have here. Let's go with this one. This one stands out. So here it says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Wow. So yeah, he's, I, you know what I love about this card showing up is that it lays naturally under the five of cups. And in this photo, um, he is very concerned and his back is to the card. His back is facing the card. And this is about, this guy is very concerned that you're going to move forward, do other things with your life, and maybe not include him. He's going to be in the past. He's very worried about that. That is something that's on his mind a lot. Thank you, Spirit. So let's get more insight. What's happening with him, his secret feelings? What's happening, Spirit? And you have here the Seven of Swords. So with the Seven of Swords energy, quite interesting because the Seven of Swords is air sign energy. And of course, Aquarius is as well. And the Seven of Swords lay naturally under the Aquarius card. But specifically here, the other air signs um, with that Seven of Swords energy are Libra and Gemini. In the top placements of the birth chart, your birth chart or his birth chart, as mentioned earlier. Let me do point out what I'm picking up here with the Seven of Swords energy as it relates to um, his secret feelings about you. Is that this, this is really about some dishonesty that did take place. Okay. And I find it quite um, intriguing because... With the Five of Cups energy, he's feeling regret, okay? Here, he's feeling regret. So I'm picking up that he's feeling regret and loss regarding the Seven of Swords energy about, you know, a, a, a theft, a dishonesty that did take place in the relationship and where you had to pull your energy away from this person. Um, It was a betrayal that you just really, you can't ignore it. You can get over it, but you can't ignore it. And so he thinks about that a lot. And secretly, he's regretful. I do feel like he's not going to admit that he's regretful because he does carry this demeanor of uh, 
feeling and wanting to be right. And so he's not going to show that at all. But please trust your intuition because if someone cannot admit that they are wrong, then that is a huge red flag in its own. And if nothing else, that flag says that this person is not taking accountability for his actions. So that's really something to keep in mind here. So group two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on his secret feelings about you and what is he really hiding. I'm going to share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy, it naturally attracts you here to the card representing the Knight of Wands. And with the Knight of Wands being your first point of attraction, what I'm picking up from your person as it relates to what he's hiding and his secret emotions, this is fire sign energy, okay? Creative energy, hot and passionate energy. And I'm just going to tell you straight out, that secretly, this guy has a very lustful attraction to you. Yes, he does. And that is shown here with this Knight of Wands energy. I can definitely also pick up that he's a very free-spirited person and um, very creative in ways to get your attention or, you know, kind of like, have you thinking things that aren't absolutely 100% correct as it relates to his personality? So be very conscious. I, why did I say cautious? Maybe that's what spirit wants me to say. Not afraid, not fear. Be conscious of this guy here because he's very clever and he's very charming as well. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. What's his exact feelings, his secret feelings? What's going on with this guy, Spirit? Thank you. Third house, perception. And so with the third house and the perception energy showing up as it relates to communication, and the third house does rule over the zodiac sign of Gemini. So Gemini is very prominent in the top placements of his birth chart. His sun, moon, or rising, the seventh house of relationships, or the planet Venus in his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in this reading. So here, this is about how he does communicate. He's very strategic. He um, There's something here to do with dating as well. So um, he secretly wants to date and go out on date. I feel like um, he's researching your social media accounts as well because the third house represents research. And this guy really is about that street life as well. And also um, as it relates to I'm just going to tell you how it's coming out. <laughs> he's very slick. He's very clever. And he could appear the way that he needs to appear. You know what I mean? So he could blend in with any type of group of people. And so be conscious about this guy. He's very good with communication. Social media is very prominent here uh, with his secret way. So he is definitely stalking your social media account, very nosy, wondering what you're doing. Also wondering if you're dating someone as well. He's very sneaky. He has prying eyes and he's looking quite often. I do feel like he has more than one social media account, some without pictures. So if you're constantly getting friend requests of people without pictures, it's him. It's most likely this guy. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Because he doesn't want you to know that he is, you know, in your account more than once. So let's 
shuffle these because these did fall on the table. So let's get it here. And you have here, Six of Swords. Love the Six of Swords showing up, especially with that message with the third house of perception here because the Swords energy does rule over Gemini as well. We just talked about Gemini here with the third house of perception. Thank you, Spirit, for this wonderful confirmation. But also the Swords energy um, rules over the signs of Aquarius as well as Libra. So these zodiac signs could be very prominent. Well, with the Six of Swords energy, let's just say this. He is secretly, you know, concerned about you relocating. Are you moving? You pulling away your attention from him and going somewhere else. That's what he's secretly concerned about here. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. His secret feelings about you, what's hidden, Spirit? And you have here, that which is like unto itself is drawn. So let's read your Spirit Guide card to see what this says. It says, everything that you perceive is vibration, and the life you are living is your vibrational interpretation. The powerful law of attraction is at the root of everything you experience and the never changing and never changing, always accurate premise of the law is that which is like unto itself is drawn. When you give thought to something, you begin to attract and process that essence of that subject into your life experience. And once you have activated a thought vibration within yourself by giving attention to the subject, the progression of expansion occurs. This is a clear message from your spirit guide about, for one, he's definitely giving a lot of attention to you. What you're doing day to day? Are you dating someone? Do you do you have someone new? What you're doing you know, outside? Are you in the streets? If you post pictures, he's really looking at the background. It's like, well, where is she at? Who is she with? Wondering who's taking the photograph as well. So this is a clear message from your spirit guides to be very conscious of the things that you do think about, you do draw unto yourself. So if this is an experience that you want to experience with this guy, um, then you just need to know that you will draw this to you as you focus on it. Because the more focus you get, the, the momentum grows. And so be very conscious and focus on what you do want as opposed to what you don't want to take place. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What's happening, Spirit, with this guy? What's happening? What's his secret, secret feelings going on with him? And you have here, let's see what this says. This says, Twin Flames, your passion ignites. Love the Twin Flames card showing up. Let me tell you, because the Twin Flames, it lays naturally under the Knight of Wands, where I said this guy is very attracted to you, you know, physically, sexually. And he sees you as his Twin Flame. He sees this fiery connection passionate relationship. That's what he is secretly feeling. He perceives that. And so I love the twin flame showing up because it laid naturally under the Knight of Wands, which is this fire um, and creativity energy. And that wand energy represents those fire zodiac signs Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries in the top placements of his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in this reading. So I love that. Thank you, Spirit, for this wonderful confirmation. Let's get more insight, more specifics. What's happening, Spirit? What's his secrets? What does he have going on? What does he have going on? There you go. I felt this. I did. Look at this, the Three of Swords. Okay. So with the Three of Swords, it's about separation, a divorce, a loss in connection as well. Swords energy 
air sign energy showing up three times here in your reading. You, you got the third house, which represents three. You're number three. You're pile three or group three, however you would like to refer to it. I sometimes interchange it. So sometimes you'll hear me say pile three or group three. But this, the what matters is that you're, you're number three, the third house of perception here with the three, the three of swords here. And you have so far three air cards representing here. So this is a synchronicity in your reading, 333, the number 333. So you're encouraged at the end of your reading to look that angel guide number up further, to get the message that your spirit guides want to continue to relay to you after your reading here. But let me just point out with the Three of Swords energy that he's heartbroken. He's not letting on how much he's heartbroken, but he's very heartbroken due to the separation, um, a loss, maybe a divorce. I feel like he's definitely really going through it. You know, you have cut him off completely. He feels like like it's it, you've cut him off. So there's some sort of, you know, depression going on you know, with it as well. But spirit is encouraging you to trust your intuitions because this guy has shown you some things about him and it, you undoubtedly have, you know, a, a sincere, you know, feeling for this person. But trust your intuition and trust the actions that he's shown you. I feel like this guy does some ghosting, like he'll reach out and then he won't reach out or he'll, he'll call you. And then when you call him back, he won't answer the phone. So that's not good. That's like very bad integrity and you feel that. So trust his actions. So yes, that's what's really happening with the connection here. He feels very disconnected from you. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more. What's happening with this person, Spirit? His secret feelings. And you do have here the strength card. So with the strength card, this is definitely how he's feeling that, like, He's trying to hang on. <laughs> he knows that you have placed boundaries up and you are persistent with your boundaries because you have tapped in to who you truly are and uh, your greater version of yourself where you are taking time out to self-care and that is in turn giving you lots of self-love, self-confidence, and self-assurance. And he knows this about you with this strength card showing up here. And so secretly, he's really worried. He's worried about your leaving as, as seen here in the Six of Swords and not turning back. And so he's concerned about the future of the relationship as it relates to you and him and this twin flame energy. Now, you may not see him as your twin flame, but he sees you as the one. So trust your intuition. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.